Hey what's up guys, if you've used Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, you would know that it comes preloaded with Samsung's T9 keyboard, which although works fine but is in no way easy to use, it is small and very cramped. For such a small screen, an easier and simpler way is needed, to make typing bearable and to be honest, worth using. Luckily, we now have Wear OS on Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, and among many benefits of this Google platform, we can now also use Google Apps on Galaxy Watches, and one of them is Google's Gboard. So in this video, I am going to tell you about how to download and install Google's Gboard on your Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. First, on your Galaxy Watch 4, go into the app drawer and launch Play Store. Here search for Gboard and go ahead and install it. Once installed, go in Settings, scroll down and go in General, and here go in Input. From here simply go in Keyboards List and then Default, and set Gboard as your default keyboard. Now. Whenever you will type anything on your watch, you will see a QWERTY keyboard appear instead of the old T9 keyboard. Even though it is a full keyboard and admittedly things look very cramped on screen, it is actually easier to type on this keyboard as compared to the previous one, thanks to the swipe to type feature of Gboard. Typing like this makes things way more easy, fast and more fun. And truthfully, swiping on your watch display feels and seems much better than poking on the display on your wrist. And as always. Google has done a great job for word detection on the watch version of Gboard as well. Then there is the full suite of emojis available as well here. Voice typing is also built into the keyboard and works like a charm. Now you can also control few of the Gboard's settings. For that, we will have to go back into the settings, general, then input and here go into keyboard's list and select Gboard settings. Here we can control things like keyboard language, vibrate on key press pop up on key press and also swipe to type. So if you're not comfortable with swipe to type feature of this keyboard, you can turn it off. So if you're using Galaxy Watch 4 and do not have this keyboard installed, my advice is that you go ahead and install it now, even if you rarely ever use it. Because if you might need to use it someday, you will be right at home using it instead of the D9 keyboard. So that's about it from this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful for you and improves your experience of using Galaxy Watch 4. Don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.